हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई प्रेजेंटेशन प्रेजेंटेड बाई मी जतीन कश्यप सो माई टूडे प्रेजेंटेशन टॉपिक इज होटल रेजर्वेशन एनालिसिस फॉर इंटर्नशिप अंडर मेंटेनेंस फॉर बैच एम आई पी डी ए टेन सो लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द इंट्रोडक्शन इन द हॉस्पिटैलिटी इंडस्ट्री द एफिशियंट मैनेजमेंट ऑफ होटल रेजर्वेशन इज क्रिटिकल फॉर मैक्सिमाइजिंग ऑक्यूपेंसी रेट्स ऑप्टिमाइजिंग रेवेन्यू and ensuring customer satisfaction this project focuses on the analysis of hotel reservation data using sql providing insights into booking patterns customer preferences and operational efficiency so let's talk about overview which includes our problem statements number 1 what is the total number of reservations in the data set number 2 Which meal plan is most popular among guests? Number three, what is the average price per room for reservation involving children? Number four, how many reservations were made for the year two zero double x replaced double x with the desired year? Number five, what is the most commonly booked room type? Number six, how many reservations fall on a weekend where number of weekend nights is greater than zero? Number seven. What is the highest and lowest late time for reservations? Number eight. What is the most common market segment type for reservations? Number nine. How many reservations have a booking status of confirmed? Number ten. What is the total number of adults and children across all reservations? Number eleven. What is the average number of weekend nights for reservation involving children? Number twelve. How many reservations were made in each month of the year? Number thirteen. What is the average number of nights, both weekend and weekday, spent by guests for each room type? Number fourteen. For reservations involving children, what is the most common room type, and what is the average price for that room type? Number fifteen. Find the market segment type that generates the highest average price per room. So let's talk about the description. The following columns are mentioned in the data set. Number 1, booking ID. A unique identifier for each hotel reservation. Number 2, number of adults. The number of adults in the reservation. Number 3, number of children. The number of children in the reservation. Number 4, number of weekend nights. The number of nights in the reservation that fall on weekends. Number 5, number of week nights the number of nights in the reservation that fall on weekdays number 6 type of meal plan the meal plan chosen by the guests number 7 room type reserved the type of room reserved by the guests number 8 lead time the number of days between booking and arrival number 9 arrival date the date of arrival number 10 market segment type the market segment to which the reservation belongs number 11 average price per room average price per room in the reservation number 12 booking status the status of the booking so let's talk about the solution of the questions which were mentioned in our overview along with their output which we have obtained from our sql queries What is the total number of reservations in the data set? Answer is seven hundred. Which meal plan is the most popular among guests? Answer is meal plan one with the number of five hundred twenty-seven. What is the average price per room for reservations involving children? Answer is one hundred forty-four point six two. How many reservations were made for the year two zero double X? We are taking two thousand eighteen as the desired year. Answer is five hundred seventy-seven. What is the most commonly booked room type? Answer is room type one with the number of five hundred and thirty-four. How many reservations fall on a weekend where number of weekend nights is greater than zero? Answer is three hundred and eighty-three. What is the highest and lowest lead time for reservation? Answer is highest lead time with the number of four hundred and forty-three. Lowest lead time with the number of zero. What is the most common market segment type for all reservation? Answer is online five hundred and eighteen.
How many reservations have a booking status of confirmed? Answer is 493. What is the total number of adults and children across all reservations? Answer is total children with the number of 69, total adults with the number of 1316. What is the average number of weekend nights for reservations involving children? Answer is 1. How many reservations are made in each month of the year? In January, the number of reservations are 11. In February, the number of reservations are 28. In March, number of reservations are 52. In April, number of reservations are 67. In May, number of reservations are 55. In June, number of reservations are 84. In July, number of reservations are 44. In August, number of reservations are 70. In September, number of reservations are 80. In October, number of reservations is 103. In November, number of reservations are 54. In December, number of reservations are 52. What is the average number of nights both weekend and weekday spent by a guest for each room type? Answer is room type 4 with the average of 3.80, room type 6 with the average of 3.61, room type 2 with the average of 3, room type 1 with the average of 2.87, room type 7 with the average of 2.66, room type 5 with the average of 2.50. For reservations involving children What is the most common room type and what is the average price for that room type answer is room type 1 with the number of 24 average price is 123.20 find the market segment type that generates the highest average price per room answer is online 122.49 At last we are going to talk about the future prospects in the hospitality industry the efficient management of hotel reservation is critical for maximizing occupancy rates optimizing revenue and ensuring customer satisfaction this project focuses on the analysis of hotel reservation data using sql providing insights into booking patterns customer preferences and operational efficiency that's all about my presentation thank you for paying attention to my presentation Have a nice day.